Today we're looking at the HTA1 thermal camera from HTI, as seen on Julian Eilet's YouTube channel. Not a bad little camera for the buck, it's 277 quid odd, uh, shipped to the UK, and that's with their discount coupons they have going at the moment. Uh, really neat little thing to have, I've wanted a thermal camera for absolutely ages, and uh, that was about the right price point for me so I went ahead and bought one but uh, now I've turned it on I'd like to take it apart now I have already tried to um, take this apart just to see how it came apart before and I couldn't actually get it apart there's um there's a couple of screws on the back here which you take out and I couldn't really get it open sort of past here so what I reckon is uh, there might be some screws underneath here so I'm going to heat this up and uh, just lever it off and see if there's anything underneath there and for that I have my sister's trusty hair dryer okay let's see if there's anything underneath here I'm going to try and do this without damaging it it's always a fun bit. Oh, do you know, I think I can see a screw. I think I see a screw already, actually. Yeah, I think there's a screw underneath there. It was a good punt. Got to do this without damaging the display. It's quite an expensive thing. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, yes, it's actually... There's quite a few screws underneath there. No wonder it wouldn't come apart. There we go. That is off. I haven't damaged anything. Good, good, good. Right. Let's see if we can get it apart now. I think it will be far more amenable, hopefully. Really, I just want to see what processor it's running and just see if there's any identifying marks on the thermal sensor on it. I take most of the things I buy apart. Always have done from a very early age. But now I'm actually able to get them back together again afterwards, which is, uh, that was always a tricky bit before. Okay, go on, oh hello, oh, oh, hello, okay, interesting, oh see that's a bit I broke, now how does this come out, oh, Okay. I'm so nervous about breaking this. <laughs> Let's see if we can take uh, take some of these off. I can see the sensor now. This all looks suitably fiddly. Let's take the screen off because if I damage that, I'm going to be in a world of hurt. Right, okay. So, what do we have here then? We have an all winner A33. That will be the main chipset, and that says it's a quad core. Uh, SanDisk, guessing that will be the storage for it. And there's a little, I don't know what that is, SK Hynix um, chip there. That could just be a RAM buffer or something like that. Maybe a buffer for the, for the um, data coming in. 
Now oh, this is all kind of its own board. That's interesting. So obviously do kind of like a generic one of this, and when they want to do a different model, they just bolt a new board into it. It's the same board for the A1 or the A2. So maybe um, maybe they just change it to whatever they need it to be. Okay, so what do we got on here? Something that says NXP on there. I don't want to take that apart too much, but I think I'm going to zoom in on that. Okay, so it says NXP LPC 43S3 zero FET 100 and interestingly enough that PCB got quite an old date revision on it 15th of March 2016 that looks like so it's obviously been around for a little while I wonder who makes this I wonder whether this is the Fleur module and then I know they just put their own I don't know what that is well, the closest I can get to on Google is the LPC 43S70, and that is a 32 bit ARM Cortex M4 M0 uh, microprocessor by the looks of it. So, I guess that's doing all the digital processing for the uh, infrared sensor, which is interesting. And then the rest of the circuit board must just be for displaying the image and kind of the rest of the software. I wonder if I can get that sensor out. Do I want to get that sensor out? Don't want to misalign anything, that would be bad. I wonder if I can just get that out. Might not risk that one. I don't think it comes up the other end. Might do, but I don't. Ah, uh, does okay. Now, can we take this out? Yes. That's the unit itself. With that really pretty lens on it. And I can see a coil there as well. And I presume that is the coil that opens the um, calibration. It opens and closes the calibration window. Wow. I don't know what that white thing is there. But I don't know who makes this, and I don't think I'm going to want to take it much more apart than this. Oh, especially if there's some epoxy there. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to take that apart. And that's a better shot of the actual uh, main circuit board. So what have we got? Now? I can see an AX something or other. Obviously, we can see the all winner A33 there as well. So that will be kind of the main chipset. We've got the SanDisk storage. So that will be a 4 gig uh, storage. And then we've got a little bit of RAM here. Some sort of a buffer item. Oh, it could, do you know, that could, be the, that could be the ROM. But this is interesting. I've seen that brand... Um, it's like USB controllers or something like that. So I wonder if that's some sort of a USB interface into it so you can download the pictures or something. I'll have to look that one up as well. Other than that, there's not really an awful lot to it. It's interesting that the um, date on that board is, on the, um, sen uh, on the sensor board is so old because the date on here says 13th of the 4th, uh, 2018. And that's pretty much it for that camera.
not an awful lot in it in terms of actual components, I guess, but there's quite a reasonable amount of processing power going on there. We've got a chip here that's unpopulated. No idea what that's for. I think it stores settings when you switch it off, so uh, you know it does that regardless. Interesting enough, down on the board here, it does actually mention Seek. Now Seek is a, a company that builds, you know, thermal imaging cameras that I think they just attach to your phone. So maybe this is based on a reference design of theirs or something like that. No idea. But anyway, that's what's on it. That's what's inside it. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Good night.